I'm Dr. Jim. I have more to report on COVID-19, especially two drugs under investigation to fight against this virus. Experts from around the world and here in the United States are experimenting with already existing drugs to treat COVID-19, and they are doing it at such an amazing pace. We have never seen this before. One such medication is an antiviral drug from Japan developed by Fuji Film Toyama Chemical by the name of, and I'm gonna slow down to pronounce this, Favipiravir, Favipiravir, or Avigan, which is much easier. Favipiravir or Avigan. It has already been used in Japan to treat influenza, and recently the drug was approved as an experimental treatment for COVID-19. Now, the other medication, which is called Losartan, is used to treat blood pressure already here in the United States. The good news is they both seem to work so far. Now, things could change tomorrow, things could change in a few weeks. Avigan, let me talk about the success so far. The drug has been used to treat people who have COVID-19 in both Wuhan and Shenzhen, China. And those are two areas that were just absolutely devastated uh, in the early days of the outbreak. Among 340 people treated, the drug showed a high degree of safety and experts reported that it, quote, is clearly effective in treatment, end of quote. Duration of illness and improvement in lung conditions were reported after treatment. Those are two fantastic findings. People given Avigan in Shenzhen, China, saw improvement in roughly four days compared to a longer period of time, 11 days, for those not treated with the medication. Here's how it works. The drug works by preventing the coronaviruses to replicate or multiply. That's incredibly important because viruses, they, they make copies of themselves and then things go haywire. So this drug works by interfering with the virus's ability to make copies of, itse of itself and stop the genes of the virus from replicating within already infected cells. I don't know how you feel about that. As a gerontologist, I'm saying, wow, that's amazing. That's up it's uplifting news. Losartan. Researchers at the University of Minnesota here in the US are testing the blood pressure drug Losartan to see if it can prevent COVID-19 or COVID-19 infection or reduce its symptoms once a person has already become infected. They are hopeful. Researchers are hopeful that it might be able to prevent the rapid multiplication of the virus once the person becomes ill. There again, we have some hope. How this one works, Losartan blocks a specific cell receptor that the coronavirus needs in order to multiply. If the drug can prevent the virus from binding to cells, it may reduce recovery time and it may help stop the spread of the illness. Again, wow. Experts at the university say that trials are underway and they're going to have answers, not in months, but in a couple short weeks. Again, thank you, researchers and people working in laboratories in coats and goggles and test tubes and you're doing miraculous stuff out there. You really are amazing, really amazing. My final thoughts on, on, on this issue, on Losartan and Avigan. Some people in the media are screaming, and it makes me so angry, why didn't we have a medication ready for this epidemic? The answer is, there's not a lot of money in developing treatment for viruses. They're only used during flu seasons, and they're only used for short periods of time at very specific seasons throughout the year. 
Lifestyle medications, on the other hand, are in big demand and companies make huge profits off of these drugs that are used for heart disease, diabetes, stroke, and obesity. And these medications are used for long periods of time, sometimes decades. So it's also incredibly difficult, if not impossible, to predict which virus is going to rear its ugly head and cause the next global pandemic. I don't think any of us are in the job of predicting which bug is going to become a super bug and which virus is going to cause the next pandemic. It's impossible. But I wanted to bring you some, in my mind, my opinion, hopeful news, positive news. Researchers are killing it out there and thank God for them. I'm Dr. Jim Collins. Stay tuned. Keep coming back for more.